Hi, welcome back. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you two other uh, activities that is uh, transform and extract. In my previous video, I've shown you how to load the data, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to transform and uh, extract. Uh, transformation or transform is actually, I mean, we can achieve the activity, we can perform the transform activity by using uh, a few of the default commands uh, of the Hive query language. It is just a kind of, uh, you know, structure of the structure query language or SQL. So in Hive there are different types of uh, uh, SQL commands like insert, uh, uh, filter, alter and also kind of you know almost all uh, commands which we use in SQL all those commands can be used in uh, Hive. Uh, in this video I am just uh, you know, first part of the video, I'm going to show you how to transform the data, and then, uh, and second part of this video, I mean, there is, there aren't any parts, but you know, the 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 beginning in the beginning of the video, I will show you how to transform the data, and the end of the by the end of the video, I'll be showing you how to extract the data from one table to the other table. Hive has got a beautiful um, strategies to get the data from one table to the other table that is actually the main purpose of the data warehouse management systems okay that is fine now show tables i don't have any tables right now uh, show databases i think um, sorry databases databases show databases so i have two databases default and user test i think i have been using uh, uh, user test. Now, uh, let me show you the data. Uh, I have some certain data in my uh, computer. Cat, same data which I used for my last video. That is high student CSV. I think it is better if I use head. See, I just have one more uh, column. <coughs> and by the way, so I, I deleted uh, the header of the file so as to avoid uh, error in the very first row of the data table so here in this table i have the id name marks grade and then course i just added one more column called course so i have different uh, uh, students in this uh, data file belongs to different types of courses okay there are there are courses like you know MBA International Business MBL stands for Logistics MBA BA stands for Business Analytics FT stands for FinTech or etc. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to transform the data by using two of the commands known as order by and group by and um, the result which are obtained from the group by will be will be passed into another table called uh, you know courses. Okay, that is what is extraction. So now let's go back. First, let me get the data into the Hive uh, database. And to do that, I have to create a table. Create table. I call students. Okay. And here, ID and name is string. And we got the marks. Also, int. And then GPA, it is actually double. And then finally, course. And this is... This is actually a string because we have now row format delimit format. I do a lot of spelling mistakes. Row format delimited and then fields terminated by comma. That's it. So if my yeah show tables, okay. Now we got the students. Select all from students so we I should not be having anything here I don't have anything now what I do I load the data this is a step load okay in ETL extract actually it should be L T E which means load extract and transform I don't know for unknown reasons we call always you know ETL extract something like that it is L T E load I first uh, described uh, uh, load and now I'm showing you the transform and then I will show you how to extract load data local impacts this is how we loaded the data from where it is in a, it is in a directory hive 
and what is the name of the file student.csv okay into uh, call students into table students so load data local input hive student csv uh, into table students so if uh, yeah there is no select all from from students now we got the now what i'm going to do i'm going to show you two transformation activities i mean two of the commands from the hql one is the order by the other one is single by suppose if i want to order the uh, data by marks you see here uh, we got uh, random instances of marks actually this is sorted this data set is sorted this data table data inside this data table is sorted by id now i want to sort it by uh, marks so if that is the case i need to use uh, command select or uh, i can say yeah all uh, from select all from uh, students and uh, order by I say marks okay now Hive is going to perform uh, not reduce uh, you know um, <laughs> processing and it will get back by marks let's see select all from students order by marks now MapReduce is uh, being uh, invoked. Now how Hive is performing the MapReduce processing. Processing our query, query by using MapReduce uh, Paradigm. Parallel processing has been started. I have only a single node cluster. I don't have multi, it's not a multi node cluster. So now see, everything is, now all the IDs are gibberish, which means uh, they're all random. And the marks are sorted, ordered. So to, to start with, we it starts with 40 and the end with, ends with the maximum. So the the student who has got uh, the student who has got maximum marks in this uh, data is actually the student uh, who has ID 11, something like that. Okay. So this is uh, you see now I describe as how to perform the group by. So same select all from, uh, but this time I will change my strategy. I would like to use, um, let's say, course. Okay, I just want only particular selected information from the data table course, and I want to count it, count all rows. So this is actually select course, count all rows from students and group by. I call it as group by. Make the groups as by course. Okay. I want to group them by course because grouping works only for categorical data. So I have only one data variable which is course that is polytomous and categorical. So I want to create uh, my output, uh, I want to group my course and I also want uh, the counts of the courses. How many of the students, uh, I want to know the number of students uh, belonging to each course. Which means indirectly I have been uh, creating a frequency table by course. That is what is the, you know, the purpose of this uh, query. Now let's let me now MapReduce. Uh, this query is being processed by the MapReduce uh, paradigm. Now Map as well as Reduce is going to start. 100% uh, Maps Map job is finished and now Reduce is started. Now 100% of the yeah this is actually the output. And there are so many other uh, other uh, commands, HQL commands available. Like you know, we have sort by, cluster by, distribute by. They all does the same activity, group by activity, just like you know, group by. They, they all behave as group by, but uh, but how the the query is being processed internally tend to differ. Suppose if we use uh, cluster by, it is going to going to perform the radio steps in a particular fashion. And if we use distribute by, and it is going to perform the perform the MapReduce, uh, uh, I mean, it is going to use a different logic for the MapReduce uh, uh, process. So I am not interested in explaining about the cluster by, distribute by, and sort by. 
So, so now what I'm going to, this is how we are going to transform the data, uh, which is being saved inside the Hive data tables. Now I'm going to uh, show you how to extract the data. So now we got only, I got only, you know, one simple table that is uh, students. Now I'm going to create uh, another table, data table that is uh, course and I will take this information into that table so that I will be having two different tables so if I want to say quickly uh, the frequency table for courses from the course table and student details from the student table for that what I need to do is I need to create a data table create table course and here I am just going to have only two columns okay so this is the first first column is the course second column is the frequency now I call I call name and it is going to be spring and then frequency and this is going to be int now row format d uh, i'm sorry row format delimited fields uh, terminated by comma because i like to every time i use comma separated because i'm happy with comma separated value files and value data so that is uh, actually an uh, easy way that ensures um, you know the process free from the errors now i'm going to create this table show tables now i got the two tables select select all from course i don't have anything right now i'll see that this uh, group by output will be passed into this course table so how are we going to do that that we can do with the help of a uh, kind of uh, you know insert command from the in SQL we got the insert but in Hive HQL we got insert override okay table course and then select so this I think uh, I will I will copy that part of the where do I have uh, think uh, where I already executed this. Uh, select course and count this one I want okay so insert overnight table course and back is going to select course and count from the students group by course so this is what is this just th this simple statement is going to extract the information from from this particular portion of the query and then see that it will be saved in the in the in the table course so this is actually the extract step of ETL or LTE. Now when I press enter, Hive is going to invoke the MapReduce paradigm or process. And at the end of the activity, we should be able to notice OK. If it is OK, then we, sh we should feel, yeah, OK. See, and time taken is 18 points, some seconds. So anyway, I'm not interested in the time. Actually, people also interested on the time because whenever they create, this is actually Hive is meant for the big data processing. So time is one of the critical aspects of uh, data processing. But uh, I am using all big data, not the big data. So time is not a big uh, aspect for my processing. Now select. This time we should be having something in all from course hopefully which yeah so now the course the table course has some information and that information is this one okay now i can also um select i can also perform a couple of uh, select all from course where uh, the second column is a frequency frequency no let's say name is equal to mm, no not name actually the where frequency frequency is equal to less than or is equal to or greater than is equal to uh, let's say 10 so i want to see only those uh, courses where the students are greater than or equal to 10 uh, i'm not interested in those courses where the students are that we got okay let's uh, select all from course where frick greater than or equal to 10 see yeah there is only one record with uh, now less than or equal to so why I'm doing this is because it's a full fledged table the course
table which we created in order to extract the information from the other table students is a full-fledged table so we can we can perform any kind of uh, SQL straight execute any kind of SQL queries on this table course okay that's for this video so with this video I have explained all three different activities which means load transform and extract using Hive data warehouse manual system and software system. Thanks for watching this video.